Hello guys! Do you want to earn millions of gil and you don't feel like crafting? Then let me show you one of the weirdest ways to do that. First things first, you need to unlock and level blue mage. Then you need to unlock specific spells for two different builds we will use. The first build will be for the wave of mobs that spawn when you open the maps or a treasure chest. The second build will be for the dungeon once a portal spawns. Fairy Community Tank Roll is super powerful for that as well as ha having all the primal blue mage spells. Why would you farm gear like that? Currently level 17 maps are very cheap and doing maps solo gives you the maximum value out of every map you use. Or maybe you like me and you don't like to craft or gather for gear. Farming gear this way can be challenging at first but it's also surprisingly fun and you get the enjoyment of playing the best job in the game, the blue mage. Now let's get on with this. Once you decipher and find your map location, check if you have equipped your blue mage or world build shown earlier, as there are three abilities you will need. Mainly ram voice into ultra reservation if needed for mob cleanup, you can combo ram voice into launcher plus dps to clear the ways. If you are lucky you will get a portal. Once you enter the portal, there are two different types of dungeons you can get, the circular arena and the door ones. Both give the same loot but have different levels of difficulties for what we are doing today. There's also a special version of the door type dungeon that can only spawn by the rare feast maps, which have very valuable loot. Once you are in, equip your blue mage dungeon build and use mighty gun and basic instinct to become a lot tanker and do a lot more dps. Right now you can see me do the door type dungeon. It's way easier because there are no major mechanics in this. Only ways of adds like you would find in a normal dungeon. Cleave them and you're done. Sometimes there are special mobs that spawn. Make sure to focus them as they drop valuable loot. At the same time make sure to avoid the big elephants. Dealing with them is not worth the trouble. They do insane amount of DPS. Can easily drop you if you're not careful. After some time if they are not aggroed by you they will despawn. As you can see I didn't get far in the door type dungeon. But these remain the easier one to deal with out of the two. Now, if you get the circle roulette type dungeon, it will be a bit harder to deal with as there are always boss to deal with that have some mechanics. They also tend to do a lot of DPS to you mainly through stack markers or tank bosses. Always be ready to use your heals. Eventually some bosses spawn adds which can be quite annoying to heal, but pretty much just focus on use your AoE spells on dodge mechanics, these are set and done of course. After doing all of that, I got a little lucky, I got a red diamond and, and with it came the big elephants which I tried to avoid. But they did so much DPS I had to play super safe. After I cleared sadly on the last stage I ended up running the purple circle. Joke. Luckily in the final stage I got the gold field again, simply did the same thing I did before. Killing the ads ASAP while taking care of myself when there's a tank buster or a stack marker. Also making sure to kill the gold whiskers if they spawn as they're very valuable. Again, same process kill the ads and always be topped off if a tank buster or stack marker is coming. And hooray, you cleared the dungeon and earned your loot solo. I got two feast map as well as 100k gear alongside some valuable loot. This is way much better than death rolling and losing. In this you always win something in the long term. I hope you're going to be very lucky as well with the maps and get awesome loot to sell for Gale.